It's a big, gigantic rubber duck in a harbor. It's huge. It's hu- I mean, 8, massive. pounds or something. Crazy. Massive. It's Robin Liz, his radio. I mean, they even have an Instagram, Big Duck. Yeah. <laughs> is the Instagram. So this thing that is just floating in a harbor got loose. Yeah, because there were high away. winds. Yeah. And so the ropes got broken and they went looking for it. Yeah. I mean, and it's floating away. People are following in rowboats. I, it's crazy. It's wild. This is in Maine, so it was in a harbor somewhere. And you know it has a little baby ducky with it, too? Yeah. But the baby ducky's huge as well. Well, it's, it's big, but not yeah. as big as Mama Duck. <laughs> the thing is gigantic. It broke loose. And so it came back, and it has, I think, great joy written on it. It does. It has joy across the chest. Yeah. And I love that because how, if you were, let's just say you're on a boat, or you know, you, you even are lucky enough to have a house that's right there on the harbor, and you see this rubber ducky floating on by, how would you not smile? It's got to bring you joy. Yeah. See, Scott Watson, who does our news, is a rubber ducky fan. As a matter of fact, isn't it once a week you take a bath with a rubber ducky? Okay, Rob, don't give away all my secrets. <laughs> A rubber Sitting ducky enthusiast. Bubble bath. You see the bubbles on his head. <laughs> Calgon, take me away. Calgon. I got the bubble yeah. afro going, you know. Yeah, but one of your, one of your kids like rubber duckies, right? Yeah, yeah, they all do. They all have them. My daughter still has a couple of like little pink rubber duckies, you know, in her room. She just likes them. So she just sets them on a dresser, but she doesn't like yeah. have them in the bath or anything. No, no, more like decorative. You know, I think about this big duck. I think it'd be a neat harbor attraction if you could ride it. Like, get on top of it and just go riding down the harbor on the big rubber duck. See? Maybe the baby one. Because that, that, that big one, if you fell off, that water's going to hurt. <laughs> no, but you, what you should do is use it as a blob. A blob? You don't oh, know what the blob is? I do know what the blob is. What is Wait, it? Wait, is it you jump on it and, and then jump into the lake or something? It bounces. Wow. Well, into- okay, Scott, you okay, know what sorry. a blob yeah. is. What's a blob yes. at summer camp? Enlighten me. Isn't that the one where, you? yeah, you jump on it? Right? See, okay. we're both big, saying the, the big, same thing. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. There's a little more to it. So you get up on a structure. Okay. That's probably a story high. Oh, wow. And there's a kid on one end of it, and then an adult or somebody uh-huh. who's a little heavier in weight than the other kid jumps yeah. on the other end, and with the air, it pushes the child on the end of it way up into flight and out, out into the water. Yeah. Okay, this is one of those permission slips I have to sign before my kid goes to camp.